Beck's Theory of Risk Society Ulrich Beck's Theory of the Risk Society is a significant contribution to sociological thought, particularly in understanding the profound changes in contemporary societies in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. Introduced in his seminal work Risk Society, Towards a New Modernity, 1986, Beck's theory addresses how modern societies have transitioned from a focus on wealth distribution to managing risks and uncertainties, created by technological, environmental, and industrial advances. Beck argues that in the process of modernization, we have entered a new phase in human development where the central concern is not just how resources are distributed, but how we deal with the risks and hazards that arise from modernization itself. At the heart of Beck's theory is the idea that risks in modern society are often the unintended consequences of industrialization and technological progress. Unlike traditional risks, which were more localized and perceptible, such as natural disasters or disease outbreaks, Modern risks are often global in scale, invisible, and much more difficult to control. Examples include nuclear radiation, chemical contamination, climate change, and the widespread use of genetically modified organisms. These risks are not limited by national borders and often have long-term, potentially catastrophic consequences. Beck suggests that society is increasingly preoccupied with predicting, mitigating, and managing these risks, which become central to political, economic, and social decision-making. One of the key features of Beck's risk society is what he calls the reflexive modernization process. Reflexive modernization refers to the way in which modernization itself becomes self-critical, this means that the processes and systems designed to bring progress and development, such as industrialization, technology, and scientific innovation, are now being scrutinized for their negative side effects. While modernization brought unprecedented economic growth, social mobility, and technological advancements, it also created new forms of uncertainty, ecological degradation, and health risks. Beck argues that society is now reflexively responding to these threats, questioning the very structures and practices that produced them. In a risk society, these hazards and uncertainties are not confined to any one class or group, they affect everyone regardless of social status or wealth. Beck highlights the democratization of risk, where environmental and technological hazards do not discriminate. For instance, pollution, climate change, and the potential for nuclear accidents can impact people across different classes and regions. However, Beck also notes that while risks are shared globally, the ability to avoid or mitigate them is uneven. Wealthier individuals or nations can often buy themselves out of the worst risks, for example, by living in less polluted areas or having access to better health care, while poorer communities are more vulnerable to these hazards. Beck's theory emphasizes that in the risk society, trust in traditional institutions such as governments scientific experts and corporations becomes problematic. Historically, these institutions were seen as authoritative sources of knowledge and solutions for societal problems. However, as modern risks emerge, especially those linked to technological and industrial advancements, people begin to question whether these same institutions are capable of preventing or managing the new dangers they have helped create. This skepticism leads to a decline in public confidence in expert systems and a growing tension between the scientific and political management of risk and the public's perception of those risks. 
This tension between expert knowledge and public perception is particularly evident in environmental and technological debates, such as those surrounding climate change, nuclear energy, and genetic engineering. For instance, scientists may argue that certain technological advancements carry minimal risk, but the public may perceive these advancements as dangerous due to past disasters, such as Chernobyl or industrial accidents, or a general distrust of the motives of governments and corporations. Beck argues that this divergence in perceptions of risk reflects a larger crisis of legitimacy for scientific and political institutions, which are seen as both producers of risk and inadequate managers of its consequences. Beck also contends that the risk society is characterized by a shift in the nature of political struggles. Traditional class-based politics focused on the distribution of wealth and resources, but in the risk society, the primary conflicts revolve around the distribution and management of risk. Social movements and political activism increasingly focus on issues like environmental protection, public health, and consumer safety rather than purely economic concerns. The rise of environmentalism, the anti-nuclear movement, and public resistance to genetically modified foods are examples of how political conflicts in the risk society are organized around managing and mitigating risks rather than economic redistribution alone. Another important aspect of Beck's theory is the concept of manufactured risks. These are risks created by human activity particularly through technological and industrial developments. In contrast to natural risks, which stem from natural disasters or diseases, manufactured risks are the result of human intervention in the natural world. Climate change, for example, is a manufactured risk, as it is largely driven by industrialization and human exploitation of natural resources. Beck argues that because these risks are manufactured, they are also more unpredictable and difficult to control. The global interconnectedness of modern society means that the impacts of these risks can be far-reaching and cross national borders, creating global problems that require global solutions. The risk society also brings about changes in individual behavior and social life. In an environment where risks are pervasive and often invisible, individuals are forced to become more reflexive in their decisions and lifestyles. People become more aware of potential dangers in everyday life, such as the risks associated with food consumption, travel, or technology use. As a result, individuals are often called upon to assess and manage risks in their personal lives, whether through lifestyle choices, career decisions, or consumer habits. This individualization of risk means that people are increasingly held responsible for managing risks that were once seen as the responsibility of governments or institutions. In conclusion, Beck's theory of the risk society provides a framework for understanding the complexities of modern life in an era dominated by global risks and uncertainties. It highlights the shift in societal concerns from wealth distribution to risk management and points to the ways in which industrialization and technological progress have created new hazards that affect everyone. The risk society challenges traditional institutions and raises important questions about trust, expertise, and the role of politics in addressing global risks. Beck's insights continue to be relevant in contemporary discussions about climate change, public health crises, and technological innovation as societies grapple with the unintended consequences of modernization.